This week on Electric Playground, we take a look at Metal Gear Solid 2 for PlayStation 2. We look at the latest Capcom games. We go on location with Indiana Jones. And Tommy and Vic review games from the tube. great fighting games. Nowadays, Capcom does a lot more than just fighting games. Game industry pretty much since its inception. He's worked on games such as Crash Bandicoot and Arrow the Acrobat. Now I had a chance to talk to David about his past and what he's working on next. I'm here with a great friend of mine, Dave Siller, and we are talking about this man as a gaming legend, really. Now, you're probably, would you say, your most famous product that you helped create and design would be Crash Bandicoot. Absolutely. People out Absolutely. there may have heard of this game. That's right. Now, when you were creating it back then, did you ever think it was going to be as big as it was going to get? We really didn't know at the time that we were doing something that was going to be that smashing. I mean, we right. were really trying to do a 3D or fully polygonal game, but with very classic gameplay. Right. Something we, simple. Yeah, we wanted, people, we wanted everyone to be able to play this game. You created a character and designed a character at Sunsoft. That's right. Arrow the Acrobat. That's right. Well, I wanted to do a game where you had a cartoon character that, that did flying and stunts and, and could do all kinds of cool things in the air and interact with enemies that were flying and floating. But my original inspiration was Mighty Mouse. Here I come to save the day! Any plans to bring Arrow back into the 3D world? Absolutely. Really? Yes, I've been planning this for a long time, and okay. I've just been waiting for the right set of hardware. Arrow will come back, and probably it'll be now called the A to Z Force. It'll have Arrow and Zero and a host of new characters. What is it that you love about making video games? 